Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. That's a very reductive and borderline insulting way of looking at things. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. My thoughts precisely. Now, as of yet, there has been no response. And clearly, none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Nice. Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Clever, but no, not necessarily. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kessler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. Everything you see here is a piece of Aquila City's history. Oh, are you a friend of Sam Co? I do so hope you both appreciate the museum. It's about his family, after all. Most people know Solomon Co as the founder of Aquila City and the father of the Freestar Collective. He was an astrophysicist who. lived on Earth in a place called Wyoming. Solomon was born around the time people first started living in space. Later in life, he designed starships, and when Earth was in peril, those ships helped to save humanity by taking them to new homes in the stars. The bravery and heroism it took to save humanity. Whew, goosebumps. During the Great Exodus, Solomon came to this world. He named our star Cheyenne, which was also a place on Earth, and gave Aquila its name, too. He and some others built the settlement that would go on to become Aquila City, and his descendants still live here today. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. A tree is upset? Few scientists are something else. 
Regardless, I can't just hand over museum property, and I must admit I'm not especially inclined to help the UC, or New Atlantis for that matter. Hey, I get it, but we have to collectively let go of this feud with the UC. And besides, this is really just about... a tree and someone who is really, really attached to it. Are you defending the UC? I must say, I expected more from a co. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. Welcome to the Co Heritage Museum. I offer a brief tour and I'm happy. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. I think we can work something out. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. Waste not, need not. Whatever you're doing with that branch is worth it. paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, perhaps minus a few shavings. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. All right, so we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic chemical of the same Extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. If this was put together with a base, so complete accuracy is impossible. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. <laughs> I'm quite certain you couldn't achieve the necessary register. Far too low for human vocal cords. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. You're right. There's a chance that there could be some minor adverse side effects. 
We won't play the broadcast loud or long enough to cause any major or permanent damage to humans or... And aside from that, if we don't calm this tree down soon, well, I fear that the vibrations it's emitting will eventually reach such strength it could severely damage our internal organs. I have no doubt that you will. I must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that word. I don't know. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you. You have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis. Though they don't know it. I dare say that we have nothing to worry about anymore. <laughs> 